group by with having. In an earlier lesson, we learned how to filter data when grouping using a WHERE clause. There is a situation where this doesn't work though. Let me explain. When you run a query, it's processed in a certain order. The WHERE clause is processed before the group by, because the group by groups based on what is filtered out from the WHERE clause. So why does this matter? Let's say you wanted to find last names that had duplicate values. We ran a query that found all the last names and their occurrences, like this query here. Select last name, count, from employees, group by last name. This will show all the last names, and some have a count of one, and some have a count of two or more. We only want to see those with a count greater than one, because one means that there are no duplicates. So we want to filter those out. We can try add this to the WHERE clause. Select last name, count, from employee where count is greater than one, group by last name. This will cause an issue. We're asking the database to get the data from the employee table, then run the group by, and then filter the count values calculated in the group by. SQL doesn't allow us to do that, because the WHERE is processed before the group by and the count function, not after. So how do we fix this issue? There's an SQL keyword called having. It allows us to filter records after the group by has been applied. It works in a similar way to where. We can say having count greater than one instead of where. It goes after the group by statement. The query will then work. Let's see this in action. So here is our query to find the last names and the count of each last name. Let's run this query. Now, let's try and add the WHERE clause with the COUNT function. We want to find records where the COUNT for the last name is greater than 1. Let's run this query. We will see an error that says GROUP function is not allowed here. This means that we've put our aggregate function inside the WHERE clause. We need to change this to a HAVING clause. So after the GROUP BY, we type the word having, then the count function with star and greater than one. Let's run this query. It will show results where the last name is greater than one. If we scroll through, we won't see any records with a count of one. They will all be two or greater. Let's try another example with a couple of columns. We want to see if there are any duplicate first names and last names. We have our SELECT clause and FROM EMPLOYEE and then GROUP BY clause, where we're getting the first name and last name and account. Now in the previous lesson we had to manually look through this list or order it in descending order. Now we can add the HAVING clause, add in the COUNT and then greater than 1. If we run this query we don't get any results, because as we saw in the earlier lesson there are no duplicate first name and last name values in this table. So that's how you can filter the results of a group by query. Remember, if you want to filter records before the grouping, use WHERE. If you want to filter records after the grouping, such as the result of an aggregate function like COUNT, use HAVING. Next, we'll look at another function for adding up numbers.